Michigan CB tech stuff. All right, so I ordered a proper mining rig frame and uh, it showed up today. Let's look at the other. Computer frame new. Obviously some assembly is required. Uh, this will probably be tomorrow project. All right, it's the next day and I'm gonna put this thing together. Let's get instructions in here in English and Chinese. I guess let's see how difficult this is gonna be. All right, I got the frame assembled and I got resurrection shut down <sighs> and I'm about to start putting it all over here. It should look something like that when it's all done. Uh, only downside is only enough space for one power supply. That's probably gonna be fine. I'll probably put everything on the cooler master. I don't think it's gonna make that big of a difference. Apparently the hard drive mounts on the front right here. I don't know if I'm gonna use it though. I'm pretty sure this just runs off of the USB. So I don't even need the hard drive. All right. It's up and running. The Antec fans they ordered installed nicely. They actually came with their own screws and extensions too, so I didn't really need the extra ones I ordered. The frame overall is smaller than I thought it would be. So that's kind of a bummer. If I really wanted to, I could fit more GPUs on here. I'm, it's gonna be tight. Unfortunately, um, the new GPU, the 470D, it's not hooked up yet. Apparent, I thought I had another cable off the PSU, but it's only one it's eight pin, so I'm gonna have to order a splitter cable to run that. I don't wanna use a Molex to the riser, just to be on the safe side. So I'll probably get a couple of splitters. They were nice enough to provide a power button though, but it has no mounting location, so I'll just zip tied it there. Oh yeah, it's gonna have plenty of ventilation now. I didn't bother installing the hard drive because I'm running it off of a USB. She's finally in a real mining rig configuration. And I guess I can sell the case or use it for a sleeper project in the future. That's gonna be all for today. Cable from Parallel Miner showed up today. This is pretty sweet. It's a it's a female six pin to three eight pin cable. This I should be able to power off in my GPUs. Or at least my risers off the one cable. I did order some replacement fans for my GPU that has the LEDs, but uh, those got lost in the mail. I honestly doubt I get those this week. I'm about to head on vacation in a couple of days, so I'm probably gonna get this hooked up. And uh, then next time I add anything else to this, I will probably be back from vacation. All right, I got it wired up. I got it set up to where it picks up this GPU, this riser, and this GPU. This riser is on its own cord. This one's, of course, on its own separate cords. These are all, well, these are both 470s. This one's a 470D, just a reminder, and remember this one is an 850. Rated power supply. Should have more than enough juice. All right, I just finished setting up the GPUs. I'm uh, monitoring this from my PC now. And it doesn't detect it as different 470, which is interesting. It detects it the exact same as my other XFX 470. So I went ahead and uh, gave it the same VBIOS that I gave the other two. Interestingly enough, the Asus uses a few, about 10 more watts than the other one. While the new one uses about 4 more watts. If these are lined out right, which I'm not sure they are not. One of these is getting 10 mega hash. That might be the new one. But hey, it's all working. 
I forgot to click the record button. <laughs> um, okay, so I finally finished after like an hour setting up modded V-bars for each of them. The D was kind of a challenge. I had to go. I went ahead and did new ones for all of them. Thanks to Tech Power Up's little database. I had to download the one off the D and mod it. Tell the difference between the D and the regular, or the RS, apparently. I didn't even know it was an RS when I bought it. Because the black version has black fans, apparently. All three of these have Enix memory, but the 470D is 113-47D45HY F1W80. Or as this one is 113-47D45HYK1W80. Other than that, they appear to be almost identical. So I'm gonna set up my overclocking template and make sure that's all good to go. And I'll see what my hash rate is. And now we're up to almost 27 mega hash. And what did that go? Interesting note. Um, 470D to have the highest hash rate and also have the highest temperature, but the lowest power use. Fascinating. And that fan's not right because, uh, huh, it's tied to the fans on the main. Well, we got her running pretty good now. Alright, I just got back from vacation. I got the rig shut down. My replacement fans for this one just came in. I'm going right over here. Just plain black fans. They look like they'll fit right in. All they do is pop out. I don't even think I have to take this out. See, just like that. Quick comparison, these are the original white fans. Nice and easy. That is exactly the way I want it. They're really easy to replace. I wish they were all like this. Alright, those are in. And I guess I'll hold on to these for now and maybe put them back on if I ever decide to sell the GPU. Anyway, I'm about to fire this thing back up and uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, new fans are working perfectly, and I went ahead and put some uh, black electric tape over the XFX logo because that's also pretty bright. But yeah, there it goes. I'm working on getting one, maybe two more GPUs to put in this thing. I don't think I'm going to be able to get up to six GPUs. Five, maybe. I think after that I might as well look at building a second rig. But that's not. Alright, CB Tech stuff. It is August the 6th. And my fourth GPU has just arrived. Let me get it out of here. This is an Asus RX 580. On the surface it looks just like my other Asus. This is also a Strix card. Probably with the red LEDs are in here. These are fans are not LEDs. Looks very identical to my Asus 470. No backplate on it. Is that moisture? I don't know what that is. I hope that's just from shipping it. I hope that's not going to be an area of concern. Whew, well, I'm going to try to get this installed today. See how it plays my 3470s. I think I'm about at the limit of this particular mining rig. Alright, I got the new GPU in. The 580 is right next to the other Asus, the 470. It is a little bit bigger. 
just gonna give a piece of tape to tape that over with. Make sure it works first. I just hope I have enough juice with this power supply. It is an 850. And up till now, I was pulling about maybe 340 watts. This may be a max. I'll see what happens in Hive OS after I get everything set up. Alright, so... I got it hooked up. It took me a little bit. Um, it shut down randomly a couple times. So I changed it to where the miner is delayed on 15 seconds after boot. And I also had to change the BIOS on the 570. I downloaded and did the one-click timing patch on the one that came with it, but uh, one got the one from Tech Power up and now it's not crashing, so that's good and I'm getting a steady uh, 41 mega hash. I also bumped up the, fans, the fan power from 75% to 80% on the GPU fans. And that's going to be all for this update. Alright, so after about 30 minutes of mining, my rig crashed again. I don't know what the problem is here. I have no idea what's going on here. Alright, after working on this thing all morning and doing a little bit of homework, I think I've discovered a fundamental flaw in my rig. Looking at the specs for this board, the Pegatron Nero 5. Okay, so from the factory it comes with a PCI Express 2.0 and two PCI Express X1 slots. I believe what this means is it can only support three PCI Express devices at a time, even if you have a splitter, which I do. So even though I was getting maybe 30 minutes at the most out of all four cards running, I think the board itself is limiting what I can do with it. So what I just did is I did some looking around on eBay, ordered another board, and I ordered an older Gigabyte gaming board that has five. PCI Express slots and all. The only downside is that one doesn't have onboard graphics, so I also had to order a regular PCI riser. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the 570 probably as my display out whenever I set up Hive on it. And then once that's done, I'll just plug it back in like normal. I guess just run it without a display. And I also ordered an SSD, 60 gigabyte Kingston X SSD, to use in place of the USB drive because apparently that can cause issues over time and it's slower. It's about 50, 60 bucks and all I spent on eBay. I'll update y'all if that works. Mining rig log. Today is August the 14th. So this is the current configuration of my mining rig. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned it last time, but uh, this thing will not run four cards at the same time, at least not for very long. And I've come to conclude to the assessment I should say, that the problem is the board. What I'm going to try to do today, if I can, I'm kind of going to rebuild the system. I picked this board up off of eBay. That should be compatible with my CPU, I hope. It's a little bit... Ooh, I how loose that was. It's an old Gigabyte gaming board. Uh, gigabyte business. It's a Gigabyte GA770 770T USB 3. Should be AM2 Plus. I think I need to clean this thing. It's got dust on it. Uh, this one's got three X1 slots and one 16X Gen 2 slot. Five SATA ports and USB 2 if I want it. Two PCI slots. This might be an issue. Um, hmm. It says it takes DDR3. I don't remember if the RAM that came with that system is DDR3 or DDR2. I thought it was DDR2. I'll have to check to see if it's gonna work. I honestly don't know if it will or not. If it won't, let's order some. The downside is that this board does not have onboard graphics doesn't have an onboard graphics port either. So in order to figure that one out, I guess what I'm gonna have to do, well, I bought this stuff here. I got a PCI 16X riser, and the plan was I was gonna use my newer card, the 570, as the display out, at least just for setting it up. 
installing Hive and all that on here. I usually manage it from my phone anyway. Um, I hope that the heat sink's gonna fit in here. If not, I may have to order one of those. I'll check the RAM first to see if it fits. And if it doesn't fit, I'll just hold off on this until I can get some that's compatible. I hope this board is good. It's in a little bit rougher shape than I thought it was. Well, it's an AM3 board. I hope my CPU is compatible with that. I guess the I should probably have checked the spec sheet for this board a little closer. I probably should have gone and just bought an Intel board, but I couldn't find one with this many slots. So that's where I'm at with this. Aside from that, I've also got a 60 gig Kingston SSD here. It's only 60, I got it pretty cheap. It was 18 bucks. Uh, I'm probably gonna try to run this on the SSD instead of off of the thumb drive because apparently thumb drives can throw issues and they fill up fast with log files, so. Even though I think that thing's a 64 gig thumb drive. I've just seen that where SSDs run better. So I'm gonna go with this. So I guess kind of using the Presurrection itself was more or less a stupid idea. I mean, I can still run three cards off of it if I wanna do another partial rig in the future, but we'll see. All right, I got it reassembled, put back together. I left the fourth GPU off. 570 for now. The wire situation isn't pretty. It's actually worse than before. I'm not worried about it. <sighs> it's running pretty good with the SSD. That's nice. And I guess I can just plug the SSD into the new board whenever I get that one set up. I'm probably going to have to update the BIOS on it. I've got to figure out what CPU and what RAM to get for it. Yeah, see what I can find on eBay, I guess. Then I'm going to find the AM3 CPUs brand new. So, that's going for now. I'm going to run them again. It's mining. So, that's all for now. Alright. So, I've got everything I need. Today I'm going to rebuild my mining rig from scratch, basically. I got a 4 gigabyte stick of DDR3 1333 G skill. I've got a regular PCIe riser. Uh, I've got the CP right here. Uh, I think it's a. Uh, I forget what, what which one it is. I'll look at it in a minute. And then I got a Cooler Master Cooler to fit that. And that actually came from Canada. Also to get more thermal paste, so I got a big thing of it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this together. All right. So the CPU is a AMD Phenom 2 X4. 910 model quad core 2.6 gigahertz and of course it's AM3 it should be enough for what I'm doing all right let's get this put together all right I've got it assembled actually looks pretty good with that cooler master cooler on it kind of matches and the blue stick of G skill and of course I got the riser plugged in now this thing is PCI Express 2.0 but I'm not using this for gaming anyway, so I don't know how it's going to make a difference. I just hope using that this 570's display out isn't going to mess things up with the other cards. This has got four PCI X1 slots, but I don't know if I can use that first one or not. I'm probably going to try to use these three. I may not even use the USB adapter, but this board is wider. This is a full ATX board wider than this one, so I'm probably going to have to move some stuff around on this rack if I'm going to reuse the rack. SSD's probably going to have to go, and the fan controller's probably going to have to be moved. Alright, I think I've come to a conclusion. The power supply is not the faulty one, and the board was not the issue. It was the 570. Had to be. Because now it's doing the same thing over here. It'll run for about a minute at the most with all with even just this one with two of the GPUs. So I think this thing's faulty. I guess I'm gonna just sell it for parts. I have to take the cooler off of it and put the cooler on the 470D. Well, lesson learned. Although if I recall correctly, I think this one was used for ETH mining before I got hold of it. Even though I changed the BIOS on it. It is what it is. All right, so mining rig update. Pretty much ever since I put the three card, the yeah, good three cards on this new board, the XFX cards have been getting me fits. Mostly the 470 Black, at least I think it's Black Edition, but also sometimes the 470D. 
Which, by the way, look at them. Aside from the LED stuff in the back plate, on the non-D version, they are virtually identical. Same style, same exact caps. VRMs here. Now the VRMs on the D are pretty, they have a little bit of grease on them. I thought I put new paste on the regular one, but it might have been the Asus I did that. I don't remember. The Asus has been running fine though. And all three of these cards have Hynix memory too, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this old paste off, put the new paste on, and I think I'm gonna keep the back plate off of the force off the one that I had LED issues with. Just to see if it improves the temperature at all. The D has been getting very hot even though I've got 90 mil 9 centimeter 90 millimeter fans on it. So I don't know what to do about that. Other than the thermal paste on that definitely looks like it needs to be replaced. Oops, just dropped my alcohol. So I'm gonna take care of that. I did clean a bunch of dust out of this 470 though. This heat cooler, and I took the fans off too just to see how dusty it was. Pretty dusty. So I'm gonna see if that improves it at all. Alright, rig update. The two new cards in the 470D have just been repasted. I used some Grizzly Arrow knot. You know, we're gonna put it back together and adding new cards to the rig. I had to reorganize some of my power cords. Hope I have enough room for all of these. And uh, we'll find out if it works. All right. Get the new cards in, get the wires kind of cleaned up. Good enough. These, uh, these two and this one are repasted. Things wired up and ready to go. Of course, the 4 and 560 don't have top side power connectors, so everything ought to be good to go. Now, the fun part getting everything set up in Hive. Alright, after fighting with it pretty much all day, I've come to the conclusion that a couple of my PCI ports on my board on my miner are faulty, or the risers might need to be replaced, one or two of them. The board can't support more than four GPUs, and quite possibly this 470, black, doesn't want to work anymore. It might be bricked. I don't know. I swapped it out with one of the other 460s. Yeah, it turns out they're both 460s. I don't know. One registers as a 460 that's supposed to be a 560, but I digress. Anyway, this boy's not want to work anymore. It keeps getting me GPU 2 detected dead. It did once on the other one a while ago, but then I swapped it onto another PCI port and it's working fine now. The only downside is with those four GPUs, I now have a smaller hash rate than I had with just the three 470s. 460s have like no hash rate, so I'm not going to buy those anymore. I thought about putting this thing in my back in the resurrection in the case, but I'd have to get a different power supply because that thing doesn't have PCI Express power supply on it. Thought about putting one of the 460s in it, but since this boy doesn't want to work, uh, I'll just have them both in the other rig for now. I guess I will buy some more risers, different ones, and see if that solves the problem. Or I don't know. And it could also be the power supply is not giving out enough juice. That could, that could be a problem. I did have them on splitter cables after all. I'm terrified with it. I can finally get the rig running again without errors. Even if the hash rate's a little slower, it's like down at like 26 mega hash out of like 32 that I was getting, which really freaking sucks. I had them all running and for like 42 mega hash for like a whole five seconds. It's very frustrating. I also got my Trezor set up. I only got one of those, so that's nice. I did find out that you apparently cannot put Ravencoin on Trezor though, which kind of sucks. Anyway, I guess I'll hold on to this one. I've already got the 570 sold on eBay. Maybe I should have listened and just got one of those Chinese riserless mining boards after all. Still trying to make old hardware work. But, uh, it's, that's pretty much what happened today. I spent pretty much my whole Saturday doing all this, so. Laters.